With the Roaring Moon finding success with the Dadam Sparse engine, it didn't take long for me and obviously others to think, well, what if we tried it with the Great Tusk Mill? And funnily enough, it was tried, and in the Orlando Regional Championship, the best performing Great Tusk deck did actually play the Dunsparce. And so with that, I have built my own variant of it to play today to see how it plays. Is the Dunsparce finally the engine that Tusk needs because of its lack of draw potential, or is it just kind of pointless? Let's find out, shall we? And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collect Pokemon cards live and they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below but for now let's get going. I tell you what I absolutely love this person's name by the way I'm gonna turn off my cam now it's called Yay Me. That just reminds me of London Tipton. Tip London Tipton? Yes London Tipton. If you're, if you're a real one you know. Uh, that's uh, Raiding Greninja. I think I'm gonna get that going. I'm gonna nest ball and get a the Dunce Pass. We seem to be playing Gardevoir so we have a little bit of time here to set up. Dunce Pass please go to the thank you. What are you doing you cheeky bagger? Let's go for a vessel. We'll get rid of the Ultra Ball, actually, because I really like my Super Rods in this deck. And also, I just it'd be kind of silly to get rid of the support card. Another Dunsparce. Okay, we're talking. Alright, let's go. Throw an energy down here and just pass. And hopefully we find some of the Dunsparce with this Guidance to start drawing, because uh, we've got Got a lot of little, 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 little stuff here, but we're, not, we're not sure if we're going to be getting the mill next turn. There's a drift loom and a man if you're on the bench doesn't matter, so that's kind of a wasted bench slot. I'm going to throw a then a well not an energy. We're going to talk about they are throwing an energy, but also throwing the charm on the scream tail. I'm assuming they're just going to go for a cheeky slap here. We are into psychics. It actually does 60 damage, which is really funny actually. The weakness is going to be a pain, isn't it? Yeah, that's very true. Oh, okay. They're going to bring up Greninja. Yes, they are. Okay, they're trying to buy time a little bit. That's true. They didn't even get a roads down. Jeez. Don't think it's struggling. Uh, okay. Okay, not really what we want. We'll play the guidance to see what we get. There's a Dun Sparse. And I kind of need a pivot. <laughs> I need to retreat. That's a lot of support is gone, though. Um, do you know what? I think I don't do that. I think get the Seder. Yeah, I can't be losing that many, that many support uh, supporter cards. By the way, Pits is your live devs, if you're watching. What's all these, like, pauses between actions now? I don't know what's going on with the coding. But sometimes it just goes really slow. Right, there's the Hero's Cape and a Turbo. Kind of want to get this bloody thing out of the active. I guess I could... Um, uh, no. I think, I think I'm gonna have to manually retreat this, you know. That seems kind of silly, because I can't attack, but if I just go into the dance bars here and pass, and if they don't have it, then which they likely don't, I could also put the cape on the sparse, and that would bring it to 160. I could also throw it back into the deck, because does the cape really matter with the tusk here? Can they, can they hit, can they hit, mm, can they hit 60 next turn? As it stands, no. So I think we are fine just to end turn here. Alright, that's fine. We'll, we'll hold off, we'll hold off. There's no way they got two bosses orders in a row. No shot. Because I'm thinking I could just go for an ultra ball, get myself another great tusk, and then say this vitality to then just go. Yeah, there we go. There's the slap as expected my opponent is struggling which is fantastic for us so what i'm gonna do oh see the vessels are so important i don't want to just lose them i think i discard the vessel no i think i get rid of vessel catcher i think yeah i think that makes more sense because then i can keep my rods i can still have access to my supporter cards and the cape which could matter still you never know but you can already tell this deck kind of feels a little more sophisticated compared to the previous tusks, right? Which is kind of what I like. Okay, so we go for Hero's Cape here, we retreat, and it'd be nice at one point to... See, look at this, look at that! What's, what's all this guy? What's it? Is it a dance pass? Is the dance pass coded badly? It's just a bit weird, you know what I mean? You, you make your move and it's like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're fine. Okay, I'll retreat now. <laughs> it might be done the way dance pass is coded. It's gotta be, right? Well, can we keep a close eye on the dance pass interactions? Because it's, uh, it's with dance pass a lot. Anyway, let me double check what we got on the mill. We got rid of an oven, that's like, nice. Iono, oh my god, energy, which they would want, and a puffin, which is also huge. Wow, we got a sick mill on that. All right, we're talking. And they have to just slap again. That is terrible. So, supporter wise, I think we actually go for a power pad first. Try and get you. Not too bothered about the airy here, because I want a guidance into a supporter card, of course. But we just get double the dance bus, and I think we do that. Uh, yeah. I think we do... Oh, do I lose... I could lose one of the dance bus and roll. Yeah. That might be better. Okay, we'll do that. I need to get my draw going. Right, let's evolve here. We'll bench this. And you can see the power of the dance bus, right? Because this hand's kind of useless, but we could draw in some useful cards. There you go. <laughs> Literally proven its worth. I could also go for... I think I just attached the energy. I could Greninja, but I think the attachment is probably better off here. Also, I do like the idea of a nest ball for another dance bus. Yeah, we still have two of the dance bus in deck, so I need to rod. And to be fair, I don't know why I'm holding the ancient booster card. I think, I think the booster just goes down here. And let me land collapse again, baby. And there's just... Uh, okay, just a bunch of energy. Again, that's good for them. It means 
means they don't have to worry about getting it in the discard pile here. If they do get Guardi, so that's the kind of threat. But Guardi is like known for going down to small hand sizes. Then again, though, that's with Curlia, right? It's the drawing and the thinning out your deck and then just Ionoing every turn. But with Mill, that should be kind of okay. Except for the fact that they're not doing that. <laughs> they're just bricking. And it's another slap. Oh my god. God, this is terrible to watch and I love it. All right, I think I low-key want to say this vitality. I don't want to keep on a, that I get no use out of it. Okay, let's guidance. And we double dance bus. There we go. Uh, oh God, that's another save vitality gone. Two save vitality and the more while. Screw it, man. I think we're so far ahead. I also just have my recovery options available, so I think I'm fine. Let's go for a dance bus hit. In fact, I might actually Pidgeot for a pow pad, you know? And I just, it increases my odds of hitting it. Yeah, okay. It increases my odds of getting my Sadas off of the dance bosses or yeah i think i still want saders over guidance just needs to get some energy in a discard pile for that right let's pitch you here let's get the power pads oh we already have two saders though ah it's fine don't worry about it it's okay i meant that it's fully intentional right well we power pad here get saders back i might get one more experience guidance to be fair to you because i have no energy in a discard pile so the saders are actually kind of bad yeah fine we'll get the guidance the good thing if we have double the dance pass the guidance won't actually lose, lose us the game at all we could just never deck out plus of course we have pitch as well so fine we'll go with that runaway draw and there you go just all support a card that's what we want to see. Go for another runaway draw here. Trying to keep drawing here. And here comes the Dunce Bass loop. Just starting to activate for us. Bench the Dunce Bass. Again, took a weird second there. Vanishing Wings now. Maybe it's cast that shuffle back into the deck. Because when I benched Pidgeot, it also took a second. Huh, curious. Either way, land collapse. And it's another big hit there. We got rid of the Cleffer. We got rid of a Rolts, Curlia, and TM Evo. Which is now the preferred way to play Gardevoir, TM Evo. But they do get an Arvin now. So finally, they can get some Rolts benched. But Jesus, we've had a lot of time to mill here. So as long as we keep moving, we'll be fine, man. Either way, two rolls down, and they scoop. <laughs> yeah, it's just too late. At that point, you're done, mate. It's a wrap. All right, starting off Penny Chen Pow. All right. Um, don't really... I haven't played enough Tusk to understand the matchups and its matchup spread, so I can't really gauge what this is going to be like. But uh, I guess we're going to be here for the ride. There's a Nest Ball coming down. Go for a Greninja, of course. Now, this is where we're going to be wary done Dunsparce. So I might lean away from the dance bus a little bit because of course the greninja just moved that shuriken's me and ruins me so i might just go with the one dance bus and try and use that around it, it, it basically if there's not 260 hp pokemon on the bench then they're less likely to go for Moonlight Shuriken, at least I think. Um, unless they really want to target the Dunsparces, because usually they don't think it's worth going for the one hit KO and then a, a poke damage in a deck like Chen Pao, which is actually just wanting to take one hit KOs anyway. But if you really be smart about it, you can attack with your back's calibers, you can go for Greninjas to soften things up, or just reuse your Greninjas multiple times. Like, that's probably the better way to go here. And then again, you, I'm not taking any hits, right? So again, it kind of makes sense too to instead just go for Chen Pao. Especially when I can still technically Giant Tusk and take easy knockouts on things like Max Calibur. Um, it's it's interesting. But one thing Chen Pao does is deck itself out, right? It does do a lot of self-milling, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm happy for that. Right, let's get an Earthen Vessel here. This is wonderful because I can now get the Greninja. And then it activates Seda's Vitality for us really nicely. And then I can just start milling instantly. Should we talk him back? Let's go for Casil card. And oh, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Seda's Vitality. Don't think I'm going to Pokestop though. I think it's tempting. Pokestop is like that, uh, it's that cake sitting in the corner. You just want to have a bite, but you know you're going to get punished for it. Uh, my main HD really wants me to press it. It's like the big red button that says do not press. I am I'm born to press those things, but I'm going to hold back and we'll land collapse. And okay, all right. And a redo. A lot of just typical cards. Got Pokestop. Gem Pal, Rita, Frigid Backs. Not really anything too fantastic. I want to see some rare candies. Maybe that would have been a good every turn, actually, because they have such a big hand. Or hand trimmer. You can still do hand trimmer. I've opted to not doing the hand trimmer because I think it's just... Uh, look, this is my meta brain coming in. I think it's just a bit too situational. You know what I mean? Anyway, well, I, well, I say that, but here it would have been good. Like, hand trimmer plus airy with a massive hand must be so devastating. So I can I can understand it. But either way... Energy on Fridge Backs. They're going to have the Backs Calibre now. And they are just going to take the one at KO. There it is. And Shivery Chill as well. But if they play like a normal Chen Pao, it's risky, man, because you're just thinning your deck out every single turn. It's just going to get dangerous. There's another Fridge Backs gone. As the Ultra Ball likely for a Badoof here. No, they just fail it. It's funny. The one card I forgot to put in this deck that you actually kind of need. They're poker stopping. Uh, the card that I actually kind of need right now is Manaphy. Manaphy will just give me so much comfort. I can be like, okay, I'll bench Manaphy. And now I can start the Dance Passing. But now I'm having to just kind of play around the, the, the Greninja a little bit. That's the nature of the matchup. There's a retrieve. Now I'm debating, do I say to here or do I instead Guidance? Because Guidance will see me more cards. Guidance plus Greninja will give me a maximum of eight cards that I could at least choose to see. Well, give me give me guaranteed four, right? And then a discard of four. Whereas Seda will guarantee five with no discard. So I see more cards of the Guidance, but I lose less with Seda's vitality. But then again, I have literally Power Pad and Rod in my hands. 
So the guidance just makes most sense. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I Greninja first? Oh, I don't know. No, maybe I do. Uh, I, I don't know. But either way, the charge not Chen Pao. It's nice to force them to have a little bit more energy to take the KO, but I... It, but to be fair, no, that could go a long way. It's annoying they hit exactly 240, though, because with the hero's cape, it's still enough. It's like they, they, they can't even need the one extra one energy. Four is just what they look for. Get it? Four is just... All right, that's terrible. Anyway, let's see what we get. It's the dunce boss. I will throw the one down. Okay, so I'm going to go with my gut and conceal card first and see what that does for me here. Um, Okay, not much, really. <laughs> All right, it's got to be a guidance then, isn't it? And it's the dunce boss. I need the ultra ball. I have to get another tusk down, you know. I think it's ultra ball to dunce boss. I think that's what we do. Yeah, okie dokie. So I think I ultra ultra ball away the tempted to I, I do ultra ball here i think i throw the does the booster matter i mean it could it couldn't though at the same time like Shem, they probably have it yeah i'm gonna bank on them just having ko regardless i don't want to attach the booster catcher and then still get a ko it would just be kind of pointless to me plus my hands like very difficult right now maybe i go get maybe i actually get rid of a seda and in this case just pow pad it back and hope that i Yet. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll try this out. Let's go for another task. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Again, the similar thing, just stuck waiting. Such a weird coding error. Right, I think this is my, like, best out. Let's power pad. Just increase odds here. I think I'm going to need Seder's more than uh, guidance now, though, because I'm just, like, struggling to get energy. Again, we don't poke a stop because we're no dumb dumb. And, oh, okay. Some good hits. Cancelling Cologne, Ultra Ball, Prime Capture, and a Retrieval as well. So two Retrieval down. Here's to hoping we get rid of enough vital resources to see the game. Let's Shivery Chill. Again, now that done at 14 cards. I honestly feel like this is like just a guaranteed win so long as I just keep getting land collapse. That's kind, of, that's kind of why I'm like committing so much and losing so many resources to just making sure I had the tusk because I just need cards. I need to just find things. I might also rod a couple energy back as well. Maybe go for, I could actually recover two tusk and one energy. He says get a couple energy. No, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. How many vessel do we have now that I think about it? We also have, I could, oh, I could poke a stop, try and find vessel. Okay, that's desperation. They're going for superior energy retrieval though. That's the third now, but I'm sure they're being a bit more careful here with their uh, with their antics. They are going to super cold. They did also code breaking, so I'm assuming they got the superior from that and maybe something else. Maybe they just got double superior. Superior, not superior. It's not a Pokemon, you donut. Right, there's Hellblade. And again, this is what I quite like as well. Dance Boss is the pivot, right? It's the card we can put into the active if we don't know what we're doing. That's kind of the role that Comfy and stuff serve. I could... Uh, no, no. More Wild's just a wrap here. More Wild's a bad idea. Okay, Poke Gear, not really what you want to be seeing. So, but I think I will play it now, actually, because I think getting a supporter... Oh, I could get Eri. Yeah, I'm going to get Eri, because now I have to commit here. Let me rod. Gonna get back two tusk. Okay, maybe I get one tusk, two energy? No, I have to get two tusks. I've only got, this is my last rod, so I have to get the double tusk if I want to see through the game. I actually want to draw into energy because then it also opens up the Greninja, but we didn't, we couldn't there. Right, run away draw, come on. Do me a solid. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. I could just get an energy. If all else fails, maybe even get the vessel of poker stop. And we could get some collapses off again. God, do me a solid. Oh, God. Okay. Please, please. I just need a vessel. Come on. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's unfortunate. I think we get another dance bus down. It's not the end. It's just a big big turn miss. Like a massive turn miss. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Is what it is, I guess. In that case, I just forced a retreat out at least of the back's caliber. Um, power pad for Seda. Uh, two Sedas, I think. Um, I think I might have to. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to get two Sedas back and just hope for the best. We have done Sparse Lands. We do have some draw. Kind of wish I played Eri now, but we was, we was going for it. Was risking it for a biscuit. It. I'm just hoping with the fact that my opponent's playing so aggressively that we can just, we, we, we can afford this turn being a whiff, you know? Now, I was tempted to Artisan, but I might myself actually need the Poker Stop, right? They, if they Poker Stop, they can't get the Prime Catcher because that's now gone. So they can't gust me. Obviously, they can boss and all that, but I understand it increases their chance of hitting retrieval and stuff like that. But again, the Poker Stop is helping the mill anyway. So it's kind of helping me right now. I'm only going to Artisan if I need to use it. See? Look at that. That's a good gust. All right, cool. They're now... Okay, I, I honestly can't lie. I'm a bit taken aback by that. I didn't see that happening. But alas, here we are. They're not poker stopping now, correctly. So with this additional draw, I think. Well, let's not let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's go for a runaway draw. See what we get. Okay, we get the guidance. Low key, massive. Let's get the other one to dance pass down. Now, of course, they could take two prices next turn, but you know, we gotta take risks here, man. That's what we're doing. And I think I go for a turbo and Seda. They lose the one to dance pass, but that's fine. And that way I actually get to attack hatch here. And again, I don't need to Artisan. So, I think I just land collapse here. Okay, we're looking good. Hands gone. Iono, Bidoof, and Arida. That was so huge, you know, the fact that they actually went for the backs caliber and with by 10. I'm telling you, mate, that was a clutch 
Clutch per counter catch. God, there's so many counter catches in this game anyway, you know. He throws me off. There wasn't no one called uh what's the what was the what was the catcher that you had to play two of? Not a cross switcher, the other one. Do you remember? The one with the, the like the two like an orange background. I think uh, if you know, you know. Technically relatively recent. I think it also acted as a gust. I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting there's so many gust item cards, I'm so confused. Right, does pass to the active. They did just attack us, but I think we are now in the driver's seat. We are like, okay, we're talking. So here I now bench our song so i want to get myself a task to get the max out of Seder's vitality now we go for it you can see what i'm saying before about it now being a bit more sequency right so i think i say this first uh, uh no i think i run away draw first and then say this right because i could draw into more cards that would make me not want to say that you never know all right let's go for the dance pass first run away draw yeah it's just more support cards <laughs> okay and sticking with the one dance pass is really really working out for us all right let's go for Seder. and that's one here one here what are we drawing into a cape yes okay cape here i will attach for turn oh that could be a retreat option though. Uh, we've got enough energy for that if we ever get stuck in the active. I think we just, again, land collapse, and we're pretty much on the way to just winning here. Like, I, I don't see what they can do. They can actually go for rods. To be fair, we ha they haven't lost a single rod, so they could just double rod. Maybe they've been holding on to that, but it would double rod is only six cards, so that still won't be enough. At best, it buys them a turn. There's a retreat, and there's the rod. Okay. But this Donnie wishes they were playing Basque Legion right now. <laughs> well, there's four, so one more rod would then equal seven, which is two more turns of mill, which we still, based on the prize trade, have the ability to do. They could also Iono here as well to increase their size. But I should again be able to do something. Well, they're just going to Shivery Chill anyway. There you go. Super cold coming in. They have to do four, of course. But again, just to take one prize Pokemon out, you still need to take two more. Literally, I cannot see how they win now. But you never know. It's the Pokemon TCG. You just don't know. Especially in this format. Things just come out of left field. Donnie could drop a Roxanne. You never know. In any case, let's go for an Artisan here. Also going to check my deck to see which supporter is actually more reliable here for us. Uh, we get a Tusk down. I do think Seder's correct. Yeah, Seder's looking correct here. I kind of actually want to keep that Turbo in case they try and stick me. So if I could pull off like extra Seder's to make sure I can charge up the other Tusk. It means I haven't got to attach that Turbo Energy to attack with the Tusk. Which then basically just means I have a much better out here. Right, we don't want them taking two prizes. So of course we don't put two to Dunce Bars down. I'll make them work a little harder. Let's bring up an up backs again. Let me just go. I, I think it's time. I think I should thin now, actually, to be fair to you. Yeah, I'm gonna ultra ball these away. I think I want to start thinning. Get uh, get the dance pass out. To be fair, everything I get here is not that bad. Uh, well, these two I wouldn't want if I get iono But if I get iono oh no, yeah, if I get iono I see them all anyway. Oh, I can draw into? Oh, hold on. Oh, I can basically make myself iono proof then. Ah, but no, if I oh no, I need to okay. No, I don't I don't do dance pass. I just land collapse. Okay, let's just land collapse. There you go. Four energy gone. Of course, we know the last one is an energy, but they just lose. Unless they iono themselves. Yep, yeah, there we go. Another win on the chop baby. The great task the dance pass is doing bits, man. Oh, there's a Mew in the active is there. Doesn't give anything away, but we are starting, which is nice. With the fact that they're not giving anything away, it makes it slightly concerning because I don't know what's going on. Oh, we've prized Greninja. Okay, right. Let's readjust our strategy then because I was initially planning to just go for a concealed cards here. But I think I'm going to go for the dance pass here. And look at this. Again, just kind of being a bit laggy coming into play there. Now, my guess is we are playing against the, the future box. And if we're playing against the future box, then the artisan is going to help them. So I think I think I go like this. I attach the turn and instead try and go for an explorer's guidance out next turn. I was kind of wanting to lean to Seda just because it's less destructive, but I think I'm going to opt instead of not giving them the option of Artisan because I don't know what it is yet. Enamorous. Wait a sec. Wait a, wait a, wait a. <laughs> Excuse me. The, the ladder's giving me a psychic weak deck just because they know that they, I'm doing too strong with a task. They need to nerf me. In all seriousness, though, what does this do? Prevent all effects your opponent's abilities done to each of your Pokemon that has any psychic energy attack, except. Okay, what are you trying to block with that? What ability? Someone in the comments let me know because I'm just not going to think about it. It's just not going to come up in me yet. I still don't know what we're playing. I'm guessing we're playing a Zartu build there, which means, again, Artisan is going to help them. So I'd rather not if I don't have to. There's a Tusk and an Energy. I think we go for this play because I have the Turbo next turn anyway, so I can just take it slow. So let's do this. Let's go like that. Not going to Ultra Ball. I can Ultra Ball for the Dance Pass if I need it at one point. Serene. Wait a sec. So we've got Steeny, which evolves into Serena. I am so confused. Grass. Wait, <laughs> what, is, what is going on? All right, do you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm milling. That's why. It don't even matter. I'm just milling. I'm just gonna mill your deck out. I don't even need to know what your deck is. It's gonna go in the discard pile anyway, my friend. But I think Curious is definitely stricken me. Um, and I, I kind of now I kind of want to ask them because I want to see what they're doing. Also, I want to get myself a dance bus down after this. So that's kind of more 
more reason, more of the reason why. Let's artisan on here and we'll get ourselves the Dunsparce. Also got the Vessel, which will actually open up this option of Ultra Balling next turn for another great tusk. Or another Dunsparce. Just getting Ultra Balling discard power to play Seda, basically. Maybe I could have held that though. Wait, wait, what? Wait, I didn't play a support card that turn? Oh, see, now I just look stupid. Oh, well, that's a Luminous Energy. And they're hitting 100? So they actually are one it KOing me. Oh god, now I feel stupid. Wait a sec, what is going on? <laughs> I'm being... This is scripted, okay? You're giving me scripted matchmaking. All right, all right, promote Dunsparce. Here's what I do. Here's what I do. I go for an Artisan. For some reason, I thought I played the Guidance next turn, man. Let's get Tusk out. Seder is online. Uh, I'm just going to go like this, I think. Also get myself a Dud Dunsparce, like so. And I think this turn I Guidance, actually. I want that Rod, yeah. And I also want the Counter Catch. So if there is a Liability Bench, I can at least punish that. Because again, I just don't know what's going on here. Let's then go for a Runaway Draw and see what we get. Okay, that's nice. Double, double Dunsparce Bench would be cool. Might need it to be fair to you. Go for that. Another Nest Ball here. I, I could also open up more while at one point. Try and trap the Mew up for a turn. But the Mew could just copy Bite, can't it? So I need to get the Charm on it if I want to do that. Right then. We're just going to have to straight mill here, unfortunately. Actually, I will also Rod now, because I actually kind of like all of these coming back. Yeah, I also have one more Rod left, right? I should have checked that before playing it, but here we are. Right, let's land Collapse. Again, more information. Bronzong. Are we playing like an anti-evolution deck? Is that what they're trying to do? Uh, what is the Serena here for, though? Is the Serena just to... Is there a Serena card that I don't know about. I know there's Serena EX, but I'm trying to think about why you want to stop a little evolution to then Serena. Right, either way, they go for an energy on the Mew and a tree, and I think they're just going to go for another Blossom Tail. What do you do again? Touch two basic energy, discard power to your bench, and then we like. Okay. A little taking it back in. Just a bit. Just a tad. You know? Just a little confusing, Rosie. Nonetheless, we move. Uh, another rod. That's nice. They have an artisan, actually. Uh, get myself Tusk. I want to see if I've got any energy in the deck. Basic energy, that is. We do. Oh, we do. We definitely do. Okay. So I can say to now without having to rod energy back in. All right, because it'd be nice to find some... Well, uh, maybe it increased my odds, but... Uh, well, there we go. That's fine. I think I go for a power pad. Recover two Seder's back. I have a strong feeling this counter catch is not going to be effective anytime soon. So I'm just going to get the dance bars out. And then evolve the bench one and, the, and uh, draw some more cards. Yeah, let's go for runaway draw here. Still trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, we got another one anyway. So that's that's nice. Draw some, some even more cards for me, please. Just keep, just keep them coming. Keep them coming. There you go. Hey, just give me some more cards. Bring up this bad boy. We attach for turn. And I just land collapse again. But... It's Salvatore. Okay, they're trying to play a bronze on deck. I'm just trying to figure out now what the Serena's for. But funny enough, they've adapted superbly by just attaching to an Amorous. It's actually quite interesting to see how well they've done this. <laughs> Uh, bro, we would have thought we'd be, we, we take down the top tier decks and we get them just destroyed by some random Donny. Right, a hero's cape actually helps. Means we actually survive a hit, which is huge top deck in there. Dance pass down. Need to use my rod to get my tusks back. That's for sure. Let's get you boys back. Maybe should have done that first and then artisan, but here we are. I don't care. I'm a bit tilted. I can't lie. Uh, there's the more wild. That's cool. Could always be of use, actually. So I am just going to get it somewhat prepared and then just go for a land collapse here. Because if I could get Noivern... Oh, wow, this, you're just, you're just trying to disrupt everything, aren't you? So if I could bring up this Mew, go for a charm, and at least get a turn with that more wow, it could go a long way. Oh, but they're just going to copy Giant Tusk here, aren't they? Yeah, God, they are just doing it so right. And I'm doing it so wrong. Need the charm, man. I need the charm. Right then. Guidance. Let's go for an artisan though. Get a tusk back. Still think I go for Seder because I feel like it, I guess. Is that... That's, that's not the right reasoning, sure. <laughs> because I feel like it. How about that? Let's go for a runaway draw here. Try and do some more stuff. There's the charm. Oh, they're just gonna... I'm gonna mill them again, actually. And just see if I can get away with one more turn. It'd be so nice if they bench something. And then I can just gust it up. But they know that. This is why Erica's actually kind of good in this deck as well, you know. Maybe in a, just the one copy of Erica's Hospitality, just in case you run into this strategy. And just say, fine, I'm gonna bring up something and then just go for more wild stall. That's yeah, not a bad shout. Right. They are, it's pretty much GG, I think. It is pretty much GG, but we'll take it to the wire. And I will show this. I understand it's kind of not a meta deck or anything like that. It's just some random deck, but it does show you how to play against the Tusk. And yeah, that's that's, that's just how it is, I guess. Well, we get the Pidgeot on the Seder there. What can Pidgeot do? Can Pidgeot actually save us in any way? Let's see, Star Alchemy? Oh, we've got two cards left in deck. Ah, ah. Well, I need to get Dance Pass down then so I don't deck out either. Okay, <laughs> I've got two cards left in deck. I didn't even realize that. That's kind of funny. All right, let's bring Pidgeot back in. <laughs> that's super funky. All right. Let's go for attempting trapped with the charm, but it is just too little, too late, isn't it? What's funny is you, it, it, you can't even come up here with Mimic You. They just Mew. Mew is like a big problem against the Tusk, isn't it? Yeah, that's true if you think about it. I could actually go for if I ever got it, got the opportunity, actually just KO this thing. Wait, did they just wait? They didn't actually attack me with the bite. They they do you know I'm hacking to my tempting trap? Okay, not sure why they done that, but okay. Let's just go for a runaway draw here. I think the moment they realize that I can't deck out is the moment they go, oh, okay, maybe I'll just <laughs> just I'll just bite because yeah, but uh, wait, why can't they bite? Am I am I missing something? 
I can't be missing something, right? That was a misclick or a misplay. I don't know. Well, we're in, we're in with the stall strategy now. That's just vanishing wings. I'll also attach this. And again, just tempting trap. They must have, they must have misclicked, right? I'm only continuing because I, there's a chance I'm missing something. There always is. So you hit me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, they're right. They tempting trapped me to increase my damage output and then they, you know, okay, that's fair. Well, fair play, man. We came up against this weird deck, but it beat me. I can't lie. Love to see it. And so we now have the question, is the sparse mill actually real? And to a degree, yes, I think it's the best current version we have of the Great Tusk. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how it goes going into the future because I'm quite interested by it. A couple of cards. I, I honestly like the idea of Erica's Hospitality to, you know, in that game where we had that kind of random deck, you do see a lot of times your opponent just not wanting to bench anything because they know if they do, that can be brought up by the counter catcher and then there's trouble. So forcing something out is quite nice. Um, that's something that this mill is going to like. There's also that card coming out, that flute card coming out in the future, but that's just a whole different thing. That actually kind of, it, it helps stall, but it also helps the Tusk, weirdly enough. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really cool idea. The Pidgeot Forest Hill Stone wasn't as helpful as I think it was in this video, as it, as it could have been, but it definitely, I think, is a card that I just enjoy in this deck, purely because of the fact that it can just get you any card you want, which is something that this deck doesn't actually have. Um, I'd also suggest maybe one Switch card, just in case. You know, you have the Pidgeot, but to be fair, if you yeah, if you start the Pidgeot, then maybe that'd be thing. But then you could just attach a treat, right? So maybe not. I think just maybe cut one Pokey here, throw in Erica's Hospitality. I think might be a good idea. But this deck is very fine tuned now. It's very difficult to make small changes. But yeah, also as I said, you can have the Mimikyu as well. Anyway, I kind of just don't. I don't like playing with the Mimikyu personally. It seems like Mimikyu just has a lot of uh, your opponent always finds a way around it somehow in the top tier to an extent where it just kind of doesn't feel nice to play with most of the time. But that's just a preference thing. Um, you can play Mimikyu if you want to of course but we will leave it there and we'll continue our wacky deck uh, journey which is uh, indefinite it goes forever but at least i'll see you in the next video take care and a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel if you want to become a member yourself click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like but we'll leave it there thank you very much for the support guys see you later